I started noticing that my back, instead of getting better, progressively started to get worse day by day. And by the, the shot that I received was um, done in, I believe I received one in July and one in, um, I believe it was August. I believe that's when I received that last one. And what happened is um, the weeks went on and as the weeks were going on, I noticed that I was getting pain down both legs, which was abnormal. I had pain down one leg, and that's what we shot for. We were shooting for the pain down the one leg. So it progressively started getting worse and worse through the month of October. Uh, by the 17th, um, it was extremely painful, um, and I came in for a lumbar puncture and they found nothing in the fluid. It came up negative. And then on uh, the 19th of October, I had already had an MRI set up for my back to see what was happening because of all the pain. And uh, the 19th, they did an MRI. And the 20th, I was in a little bit more pain, which was a Saturday. The 21st, a Sunday, I couldn't walk at all. I was in horrendous pain where both leg, both pain, uh, both legs were getting shooting pains where I couldn't, I had to brace myself on the wall because of the pain. So we came to the ER and they started to look at me and work, work me up. And they had not read the MRI that I had on Friday yet. So my wife asked to get a stat read on the MRI. And they read it. And the doctor got a call from, I guess, the radiologist or whoever reads it. And they looked very concerned. And they talked for a while on the phone. And uh, they admitted me. They are telling me that I, have, I don't have meningitis. That window has passed but I have a fungus that is growing in my lower back. Um, and they have, what they've done for that is they went in and tried to get some samples, basically skin deep, and that didn't work. So what they had to do was they had, I had to go in for an operation and they had to make a slit in the back of my back and they went in there and I guess took some samples whether it's I don't know how they do it swabbing it or or however but they took the samples and they have them in the lab right now and they are looking and waiting for uh, the fungus to grow that could take as long as 30 days if not more um, with regards to that they um, also told me that um, it's, it's an abscess growing back there. So that's what was putting pressure and uh, causing um, pain down both legs. And how are, you going to be, how are you being treated for this now? Well, it's such uncharted territory for the doctors and across the country. Everything they're doing here they're sending the samples to CDC um, because they want to know what is happening. Um, and the doctors are really, uh, they're doing an incredible job, but it's, it's something that is stumping them to, to a degree. They are treating me with three different kinds of antibiotics, I believe. And um, it's more of a shotgun approach right now until something starts to grow, then they'll know exactly what the fungus is and they can treat that exactly.